What's happening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fellow YouTubers that are watching this video, all of you guys have been very welcome. This is going to be a playthrough of the new featured episode and I actually have no idea how to pronounce this thing. <laughs> I mean Scylla and Charlie Bliss, Charlie Bliss, Charlie, Charlie, I don't know, that episode. Um, the servers are actually been updated uh, yesterday and uh, the time that I had I could not actually play because, um, you know, Earth, uh, you know, Earth stuff that I needed to do and not game related. Uh, so I didn't do anything uh, related to the update or anything like that. And I'm going to start doing videos every day about the update. And I'm going to start with uh, the featured episode because that is something that I really want. And hopefully um, we are going to have something uh, fun coming out of this. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I had a little bit of, uh, or at least the voice was a little bit low. Um, okay, so we are getting, uh, or at least this uh, Admiral Quinn right here is telling us that he's sending us to a patrol. Okay, that's that's normal. So a uh, little bit of expertise, experience. Uh, wow, okay, 400 of these anniversary prize vouchers. I did not expect that. Really awesome, cool design right here, the real icon. A featured episode, the weekly reward. You normally have these things uh, whenever they give us a... Um, you know, one of these featured episodes. A little bit of that lithium ore, that's always nice. Uh, Bajora Divensk. Whoa, oh, oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so we are going to get a space set out of this. The Bajoran Defense Covariant Shield Array Capacity Times 3. Wow. Okay, this is this is definitely awesome. Definitely at the end of the video, stay tuned for that. We are going to take a closer look at these things. Also on January 30th, we are going to get a deflector ray, a impulse on February, uh, wow, at February 6th, we're going to get a Bajoran Defense Hyper Impulse Engine. And what what is this? The Butcher's Maclef Mark 12. Credit damage and proc, the butchers, Macleth, the butchers, that the butcher. Ooh. Um, that reminds me, is that something that the Zenkethi was actually talking about? Was that about uh, what's he, what's his name again? The Zenkethi butcher or whatever. He, uh, was that? Ah, probably in the featured episode we are going to talk about that. The butcher. Okay, so that kind of looks like a broken half. Or at least the half of a Betleth. Kind of like knife. Alright. So this is awesome. A space set. A um, ground weapon that we are going to get. And this is just a placeholder. This is nothing some... You know, this is nothing anything... Anybody <laughs> is interested in the plasma infuser. But the, the rest... Hopefully we're going to get some visuals with this thing. Wow. Okay, let's accept this thing. And we are going to fight against my uh, favorite opponent in STO, those being the Zenkethi. So I'm actually going to use some little bit of EC that I have laying around to transwarp to the location. Now, hopefully I'm going to be in the right ship. Wow, nice. Nice screenshot right there. Yes, I'm in the right ship. Okay. Okay. All right. We are going to get some help from the Rotaran and the Core. The Core is the Klingon, which is the Rotaran. Oh, these guys are probably the Lucari, I guess. All right, let's begin the uh, Celia and Charibli. That one. <laughs> Yeah, words really hard for me. Nice, the screenshot I definitely 
Whoa, okay. Okay. Nice. Oh, I like that. Uh, okay, so basically we are um, holding them, or at least keeping them busy till um, rescue is going to arrive, <laughs> I guess. Hey, where did they warp out to? Man. All right, let's uh, use a warp to go there. I think I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. All right. So these are... Oh, proto matter torpedo. What do we do actually here? So destroy the ships. All right. The Dranguli, okay. No, 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 no. Don't fire torpedoes at the planet. Oh, that planet, okay. Um, Let's intercept these guys and do this. All right. Oh, shields are gone. Where is the enemy? The enemy's right there. Okay, so we are in combat with the Zenkethi. And I'm actually using one of their own ships against them. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, some nice crits right there. Chase the Zenkethi. That is the next objective. Oh, lockbox. Take it. Discovery. Tick. Oh, sorry. Hail. Well fought, but it is far from over. Zenkethi forces have been spotted near your location. Intercept them as soon as you can. Okay, we'll do. We believe their target is a defenseless inhabited world. The honor of defending it belongs to you. I trust it will not disappoint you. <laughs> nice. And the Zenkethi will have a nickname for you as well. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> that laugh at the end. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, all right. So basically, we are done here. We destroyed their fleet. Warp out. Warp out of this six system to go to the next one. I did love the scenery, though. Really nice. What is wrong with the camera? Why is it doing that? This is Captain Kumarke. We're all Kumarke. Let's go, Kumarke. Again, they were beamed out, or they warped out. What is, what is up with that? Where's the world that they're firing at? Oh, there we go. I don't know if this is going to be like part of the mission, so none of these torpedoes are actually need to go to the um, to the hit the world planet. But I'm just, you know, chasing them down. Oh, okay. I uh, need some shields. Ah, these guys are babies, man. Come on. And then he dies, right? <laughs> what is this? Oh, Rizkawas. That's the Lucari. Nice. Are we gonna get hazard pay out of this? What is this? We're like this is like the second world that we actually uh, rescued from uh, the Zinkethi, and the Zinkethi aren't bad. Trust me, they're good guys. All right, I'm looking forward to to it, Kumarke. Okay, so another system, and um, by the looks of it, this thing is probably gone. All right, let's get our pets out. Destro there we go again. What is up with this? 
I don't like it. So, um, no idea what's going on. This planet looks kind of lost. If we uh, take a closer look, we can actually see that this thing is... Is it on fire or something like that? Or is it just like... Oh, protomatter torpedoes. Kumarka, where are you at? Oh, we can't actually reach those. Hold on. Do we? Can we gravity weld these things? No. Okay. Oh, now you tell me. Anyway, we will deal with these guys. What is this? A cruiser? Oh shit, my shields are failing. Not good, not good. Um, what happened? I collect complete planetary defense. Uh, defender. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, grab that one, that's good. Good enough. And this one. Cancel that. Alright. Kumarke, you're up. Oh, hold on. What? checks out so every available ship has been called to defend the planet even ds9 is being moved there to assist the sooner you can get there the better bajor must be defended hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on jordy 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 hold on hold on hold on captain parr has defected to the alliance that's that's oh man that's so huge that is in my book i don't even care about the rest of the mission I just want Captain Pyre to join my crew. That's it. I want her as a bridge officer. <laughs> That's it. No, man. Oh, man. This is awesome. So they have plans for her to actually join our crew. So they're actually going to give us a Zinkethi right there. A Zinkethi bridge officer. That is that is crazy. I love it. I love it. And if, if anybody from Cryptic is watching, thank you so much. That is everything that I've wanted in the game. You know, it uh, doesn't actually matter anymore to me. This game is perfect when we're going to get this Captain Parr to join our crew. That is awesome. Um, okay, so what did you say again? Because I actually didn't listen. Uh, reveal the next target of the Zenkethi fleet. It is going to be Bajor. The intel checks out. So every available ship has been called to defend the planet. Even to defend a planet? Wait a minute. DS9 is not... Oh, okay, Bajor. Okay, okay. I thought it was DS9. Even DS9 is being moved there to assist. The sooner you get there, the better. Bajor must be defended. Okay. So we are going to go... Okay. Nice. Zenkathy. <laughs> nice oh man okay so this is the way that they're going to tie up uh ds9 and the current timeline or at least from uh sto's perspective all right so let's go to ds9 bajor and all of that because bajor is apparently moved or at least uh, ds9 has been moved to bajor but who is defending the wormhole if a uh, bajor or at least if the whoa <laughs> Captain LaForge has a brief report. Review it and prepare for combat. Long distance scans show a large Sankethi fleet heading our way. They will test us, and we must not be found lacking. <laughs> no, he's acknowledged. Glad you could make it. All right, here we go, Jody. Pretty impressive force to defend the planet from the Sankethi. Let's just hope it's enough. Our objective here is straightforward protect Bajor at all costs. Oh man, I don't like the last sentence right here. At all costs, somebody's gonna die. Somebody's gonna die right here. All right, understood. The time for battle is oh man, here we go. And with honor, the blast. We will do that. So as I was saying, if DS9 is here, who is protecting the wormhole? <laughs> 
Hmm. Hmm. I see. Hmm. All right. Let's grab these guys and then move upwards. Right, these guys. Right here. Gravity will them. I thought. Okay. Cool. I will. I'll try. Now, if you guys are watching... Oh my god, my ship is almost dead. What is up with that? As I was just about to say, if you guys are here and are like, Yeah, this guy is not doing enough damage. Uh, that is because my playstyle is totally different to yours. I really don't care about DPS. Nice. Oh man, this is gonna explode right on top of me. Okay, good. Move that way. Where's the next one? Right there. Yeah, as I was saying, DPS, I really don't care about that. As you guys can see right here, no points in my specialization, in my skills. Or at least the specialization is, uh, like, already filled. But totally not... Um, Totally not set to space or anything like that. There we go, the butcher. Yeah, they're talking about the butcher. That why that was what sounded familiar. The butcher. So we're going to get his uh, his sword at the end, or at least the piece of his sword. What? That's it? Ah, oh, come on! I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher than that. Okay. Core Negwar got some Romulans here. Okay. Alliance forces. This is Commander Sarish Mina on DS9. That assault hit us pretty hard. We All right. Not make it through another without some critical repairs. Okay. Need some assistance in engineering. I want the station ready to face the next wave of Zenketh when they arrive. If you have the hands to spare, we could really use them now. You'll have them, Commander. Alright, so we're going to go to DS9, I guess. Yep. <laughs> right here, beam support. Oh, beam support team. Oh, okay. Thought it was me that's going to do all the hard work. Beam. So, about a part of our crew? For what? What the hell is this? Are you kidding me? What is this? St. Kathy Starbase? Remove that. Holy. Wow. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Does this thing have hit points? How many hit points does this thing have? Okay. A half thousand? That's not a lot. Hey, hey, hey. Enough with your... What the hell? Here, take that. What is Bronta Cruiser? I don't think we have that. we have that in the game. Man, my shields are gone. Nah, all integrity is good. Yeah, shields are gone though. <laughs> we actually might have a really good use of that new space set. Maybe we're gonna have a little bit more shields. Wow, this this thing has like a starbase. They 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 like transported a starbase in here. How do they do that? Oh, that is that is so nice. All right, let's let's try to uh, take care of these frigates. Wow, a starbase from these guys. I want a starbase too. <laughs> okay, this guy is dead. What about the starbase? Do we have to kill this thing as well? Wow, this. What does it look like from above? Oh, nice. They actually look like a um, like the wings. You can actually see it right here. The wings are like just like this part. 
This part is just like this part right here of the wing. Wow, that is nice. Man, I wish we had this in the game. A little bit of use of this. All right, let's kill this thing. To do what? What are we going to do? Beam over? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, just standard, whatever. It's whatever, bridge officer. It's all good. <laughs> Definitely loving the new screenshots. Or loading screens. Oh, come on, what kind of smell is it? <laughs> the unique smell of a Zenkethi vessel. Oh, come on, man. That's just... <laughs> that is just... That's that's insane. Oh, man. I want to smell this ship as well. Does it have that, you know, that, that fresh out of the um, assembly line smell? All right, understood. Let's go. We don't care. We are at the battle station. I'm going to take a detour and I'm going to look at everything that this thing has to offer. This thing is broken. It's like sparkling all over. Oh, what is this? Is this gas? Uh, you guys are going to die really quickly. I do apologize for this not being a real challenge uh, right here. Uh, my build... For ground, my build for ground, as I was saying, is like really overpowered for these guys. This part could, you know, be really quickly over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Marta, hold on. Is there a uh, button I can click right here? Maybe a uh, accolade? No? Okay, moving on. Ooh, lockbox. Yes, yes, I want lockbox. Uh, he said something about uh, weapon control. Enter weapon control. Uh, okay, this is not it. Look at how huge this console is, man. <laughs> this is awesome. How are the Zenkethi pushing buttons with those tiny hands, huh? I wonder. Uh, this way. No, the other way. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is one of those. Yeah. All right. All right. Our business is... Okay. So that is a little bit of a, an explanation what these things are. They don't use turbo lifts, but they use transporters. Okay. Ooh, look at this door. Ooh, I love that part. Wow, okay. Uh, what's 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 happening? What do I need to do? Shut down torpedo system and override the tactical consoles. There are four consoles that have been lit up as I just entered the room. Enough. Yes, yes. Hold on. I'm playing the game. Stop jerking my hair all over the place. Uh, override console. What is... What is that underneath? What was that? Butcher. What were, what were these things? What were these things? Alright, let's kill this guy. There we go. The guy's vaporized. Zenborn. Yeah. What were these things? Hide your gun. 
Or this like jetpacks kind of looks like that, right? You see the exhaust right here and like Is this like body armor? Wow, okay. And uh, take the personal shield. We can always re-engineer or uh, salvage the uh, components. Override console. More uninvited guests? They know we're here. No. Secure those consoles. Which one? There are two. All right, let's, I don't know, this one. Could somebody have like a, a look out at the door? Maybe Watch they're gonna door. come. To oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. So these are the torpedoes that they're they're protomatter torpedoes that they're firing, right? This is their launching platforms, basically just like a submarine, I guess. They have like these tubes that go. Okay. All right. All right. That is that makes sense. I love the design though. Can we not jump on this thing? No. We cannot jump on top of the protomatter bomb. What is this? Maybe if we go up here on the console. Eh, 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 eh. No. Jump, roll, no. Spatial chargers blow up. Boom. All right, let's override the last console. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Get this over with. <laughs> Marta, man, you're badass. You're badass, dude. What is this? Is this the proto matter that they're talking about? Kind of looks like the Omega on uh, on steroids. <laughs> that chamber is really awesome. Cool. Very cool. Very very nice. I like it. All right, let's go to the transporter that they're talking about. Open doors. Nice. This. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, dudes. Oh, my God. This guy wanted to bitch slap me. You guys are going to die. Somebody's vaporized. I have no idea what just happened, but everybody's dead. What did they leave behind for me? Goodies, small power. So, nah. All right. Um, um, what happened? Did we? Did we? No, we didn't. That thing like enveloped us, right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh oh. Oh, that is sick. Uh. What is what 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 is this guy having? Is he having like a battle armor? Yes. Nice, nice. Oh, this is so sick. Um, look at the body armor that this thing has. What? What are what are these? Are these like crystals? Wow, this body armor looks sick. What is this on the back? Okay, so they have that that you know. Don't worry. Hold on, hold on, don't go that far, dude. All right. Let's kill all of your all of your kinds. I kind of want to investigate what's on these sides. Is, is that even a, Is that something I can walk over this this corridor right here? Ok, 
Okay, so we cannot go that way. We can... What is this? Hypo. Um, if I... If I... No. She entered the combat. She entered combat. She, oh, oh my god. There is another one. The butcher. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, so we got two options. Uh, you could have sought our age. That's your opinion. This ends now. Wow, I love these armors. Basically, all of them is... Uh, I don't think it's going to change, but let's do this one. <laughs> wow, okay. Nice. Um, continue. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, so he's giving us a little bit more information, uh, saving trillions, uh, killing millions to save trillions. Um, he's basically saying like there is real stuff that's going to come, but no idea what that is. Um, a doom, a form of, harm of harmless crystals. You're reddening aside, it's over. Admiral, uh, let's do this one. Maybe he's going to give us. Yeah, tell me. Ah, oh, come on. No matter the threat, genocide is not an option. We are done here, Admiral. Stand down. Um, yeah. All right, phase is back online. Really? Who is still left? Oh, this guy is still left? Oh, just with a sliver of health. What? What? Tell your fleet to stand down, mister. Wow, these guys are awesome. I love the way they talk. Uh, you made the right choice. <laughs> nice. What? Are you kidding me? We're gonna get this 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 awesome station? <gasps> yeah, but it's probably in the game and we're not even gonna use Oh man, come on. This should be like a fleet holding stuff. We wanna go here. Man. 
oh, this is sick. They actually gave us like, well, we actually conquered that one, but <laughs> it's ours now. And uh, wow, this thing, this thing is awesome. This thing is ours now. Nice. Very good. Nice. Yes, yes, we will do that. Oh, this is um cool down security teams? Oh, probably to uh Yeah. Yeah, probably to uh to secure every station and stuff and stuff like that. Shut down launch control. But why what is launch control? Oh, the launching of proto matter torpedoes probably. <laughs> nice. We will celebrate. For tomorrow, we may die. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Live today and uh, we'll see what tomorrow is going to bring. Oh, man. So, what is this guy? Is this guy like our prisoner now? Or this Admiral uh, Tzen Tarak? Tarak? I don't know how to pronounce that. Tarak? Tarak? So, this guy is now our prisoner. And we got a new bridge officer. Come on, give us this guy. Or girl, I don't, I don't, yeah, female, I guess. All right, beam out. Man, this, this, this station. Okay. Uh, my. What is? Why am I holding my gun? At my head. <laughs> That's just weird, a bit weird. All right. Big planet, small planet. Oh, very nice environment. <gasps> Beautiful. Huh? What is that? Something hatched out of that. Whoa. What the hell? They belong to <gasps> what? We must return to our ships immediately. Look at how many there are. Wow, another invasion. Another invasion. Really awesome cliffhanger. Yes. This, this is the doom the Senkethi speak of. The enemy they kill billions to stop. <sighs> All right, let's listen to whatever he has to say about the Herc. The Herc are our greatest foe. An enemy that invaded Kronos over a thousand years ago. No other enemy came so close to ending us. Not even the Iconian. Klingons, they are the monsters of legend. We thought they were extinct. We were fools. You were fools. There is lore about the Herc using caretakers, bred to prepare worlds for the return of their masters. I believe what the Senkethi call Transuli are those creatures. Wherever they were, the Herc to attack and now it seems that day has come all right recommendations recommendations tells us that the attack without fear without hesitation if bajor is to survive we must meet the herc in battle <laughs> This guy was like, recommendations? <laughs> what do you mean? What other what other options do we have than fight? <laughs> oh man, this guy is awesome. Uh, understood. Oh, hands battle stations. Has of battle. Test 
Oh shit. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, hold on. So we got another. Well, these are just babies. These are just swarmers. What? Because of the swarmers? Oh man, we just lost the vessel right there from the Zenkethi. Oh, my shields are good. Here. Who said that? Oh, some Bajoran. Well, we lost some some of the Bajorans. Oh man, DS9 is not in good shape. What is... <gasps> Oh man, the pylon is gone. What? Who's... <laughs> oh man. Oh man, if you guys know why I laughed at that. Oh, that is such an awesome. <laughs> You'll have it, Commander, right away. All right, we basically need this thing to survive. Can we heal this thing? No. All right. Well, maybe. Uh, let's see if this works. Uh, where is that? Oh, this one. Uh, who are we fighting? Here we go. Nope. Oh, man, these guys are going to... Kill the, my 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 new favorite place to go. <laughs> yeah, they're swarmers. They're swarming everything. Uh, can I put threatening stance on my ship? I need this thing to survive. Uh, all right, let's put this guy on. Can we click that one? Good. Good. <laughs> Good. I love this guy. Mart. Martak, you're awesome. Uh-oh. Somebody died. Somebody's not happy. And according to the Klingons, these guys are... Cowards. Yes, 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 granted. Come on. Yes, nice. Nice. Why did you go to DS9? Come over here, my ship. DS9 is busted up right now. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. I'm trying, man. They're like. Okay, they're gone. What? What happened? Did she... Uh, what happened? Somebody died, I guess. Just a moment. We're picking up something here. Looks like the wormhole is opening. The The what? What? Is it the Dominion? Where's the wormhole? Danger of being overrun by the Herc. And if we fall, Bajor is next. 
Red Alert. Whoa, look at how many swarmers they got. Gravity well, gravity well, gravity well, gravity well, turn, 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 turn. Gravity well, these guys. Okay. So, we basically moved from the place where the wormhole was to this location. So, how did they know that the wormhole was opening? I wonder. How? How do I slow them down? I'm using gravity wheel, I mean, come on. Man, I wish I knew that this was gonna happen. I could like double up on like gravity well or use some other pets that have tractor beam and eject warp plasma. Oh. Oh shit. No, they're fighting with us. They're allies. Nice. Victory is definitely life. Yeah. Take it. Look at these guys. These guys are like swarming everything. Where is the Dominion right there? Okay. Dominion battleship. Escort attack ship. Nice. Gravity will these guys. Right there on top of my ship. Why not? Okay, so if you were gonna do this mission on yourself, beam fired will torpedo. Uh, it's torpedo. Um, uh, not high yield, but the other one, what's called the um, uh, scatter volley? No, scatter volley is for uh, um, for cannons. What was the other one? I forgot. That is definitely a good uh, use of bridge officers. Okay. What did I get that one for? Another accolade. Okay, let's see where we get that accolade from. Destroyed 100 ships. Okay. Thank you what brings you here. Wow, look at these guys. Get to the point, and then who will deliver it? Alright, let's do that one. <gasps> what? It's Odo! <laughs> nice! Oh my god, the transmission cuts out. It's Odo, nobody expected this guy. <laughs> nice! Man, this mission is like, what the hell? They put up so many stuff in here. Wow! This is like the, my best favorite one of all missions in Star Trek right now. This is like full of surprises, full of awesomeness. Uh, where is the St. Kathy Battle Station? No, they destroyed it, didn't they? Yeah. Man, all right, let's let's. <laughs> the return of both the Dominion and the Herc is no coincidence. I suspect we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Until then, and uh, leave the system or... N wait a minute, not now. Ah, oh, man, why did they blow up the, the station? Okay, so... Is that ship, like, buried inside DS9? Oh, it's just, like, on top, okay. 
Wow, Deep Space Nine is like wrecked. Nice. All right, let's uh, leave system. Yes, yes. You already said that once. Nice, man. This mission is awesome. I don't know who scripted this, but this is like, my God. Very nice. Very nice. I definitely I love this new mission. All right. Uh, rewards. Wow, that is awesome. So we got Odo in the game. That is that is sick. I like it. Unfortunately, we did not get the um, space station. Man, why did they have to blow it up? All right, I'm going to grab the Bajor Defense Covariant Shield Array with capacity times three. Uh, amongst 400 of these vouchers... Um, the featured episode, the lithium expertise, yada, 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 all good and all, um, peachy. Now, I do want to see if this thing is going to give me any visuals. So, uh, let me go to Sol. And, um, and see if this thing is going to change the way that my ship is actually going to look like. Because if that is the case, then we are definitely, like, being, being, like, pampered so much from this episode. It's like, it's like insanity. Got a little bit of snow in space. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's move out, out of this area. Uh, head over to a little bit of a um, little bit of a uh, quieter area. All right, here we go. Uh, let's equip this thing for the first time. Um, I don't have anything on my visual, so that's good. Shield. <gasps> it does. It does. It does give us. Uh, what the hell? Wait a minute, it does, right? Uh, disable visuals? Yes, all right, it does enable visuals. <laughs> nice! Kind of looks a little bit faded, but wow, okay. I definitely love the, 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 the pinkish color that they're using right there. Wow! New visuals, new shields, new... Wow, this... A new bridge officer. That one is definitely on the on the first... Uh, on my list to obtain. The bridge officer. When are we going to get her? Nice. Got lots of new details. Ooh, I definitely love this part. Never seen that one. Really cool, really cool, nice. And we do have a couple of Borg nodes. That is because I'm using a Borg console. This is not part of the shield, guys. Wow, this is cool. This is very cool. Very nice. Definitely enjoying this part. Yes, yes, baby. I like it. Hmm. 
you definitely see that there is a change in um, when this thing is being lit and when it's not being lit by the sunlight. Color is really cool. Nice. Anyway, let's see what this thing was all about. Information. Where are you? More details. All right. The defense of Bajor brought about the development of this Romulan shield in joint operation with the Allied forces who had action in uh, who had action in the battle. Uh, when a shield facing is depleted, an eject of plasma is shed from the shield array of the direction that is a drowned sh uh, of the drowned shield. It can absorb a significant amount of damage before a failing but takes longer to fill uh, to fully recharge when compared to other shield arrays. Wow. Okay. So when a shield facing is depleted, this thing is going to burst out a plasma in the direction, or at least when the, uh, from the shield facing that it is drawn to. Okay. This item is fleet upgraded to mark technology point. Dilithium is normal. All right. So this thing gives us a maximum shield capacity. With 10% in bleed through, shield regeneration reduces all damage to shield by 10%. Really high amount of uh, shield cap right here. Now, you guys' numbers could uh, vary from mine. Uh, I don't really don't have, you know, the right uh, consoles, the right skills, the right uh, traits equipped on my on my on my character, my build. So definitely um, worth mentioning. Uh, rate. A light track tor what? Cor Corconal a shield ejection. When any uh, when any shield facing is depleted, it's going to deal three thousand two hundred seventy three uh, seventy three point three plasma damage to all enemies in a cone along that facing. Hmm. So it's gonna give out a burst. To all targets hit with a blast, 445.1 plasma damage per second for the next 6 seconds. So it is a damage over time ability. Can trigger once every 30 seconds per individual shield facing. Wow! Wow, this is a totally new game that we're going to play with this thing. Coronal shield e uh, ejection. Nice. All right, so this is definitely part of a, a space set. So if you have two pieces, uh, the deflector, impulse, and the shield, I don't know where the fourth one is going to be. Oh, okay, so a warp core. Okay. Um, so two-piece uh, two set is going to improve the phaser damage, disruptor damage, and plasma damage. Wow, okay. So this thing is also going to improve your phasers, disruptor, damage that you're going to do with plasma. So phasers, disruptor, and plasma by 17.8. If you have the 3P set energy uh, siphoning field, set a warp core passive. Range increases from 2 kilometers to 5 kilometers. Hmm. Okay. So this is, is this is like a clickable thingy? Set shield passive range increases from 2.5 to 5 kilometers. Okay. And the three, or the fourth set piece, oh, this is the third set piece, by the way. This is the fourth one. Uh, manipulate energy siphon field. Energy siphon now additionally returns, uh, reduces... Foe turn rate by 33% and lowers resistance by 15 and is providing you uh, with those bonuses. While providing you with those bonuses. What? Okay. So energy siphon now additionally reduces the, th the, uh, the foe's turn rate by 33%. And if I'm reading it correctly, it's going to give you 33%. And it's going to lower the resistance by 15. And if I read it correctly, it's going to raise your resistance by four, by 15 while providing you with those bonuses. So it's going to increase your turning rate. It's going to increase your resistance as well. Wow, this, this new um, space set is definitely going to be OP right now. Wow, 
Very nice. I'm looking forward to uh, the rest of these things. Starfleet intelligence believes the Sinkepi attack on an alliance uh, happened very soon with their new proto matter torpedoes. All right, hold on, hold on. Stop talking a little bit right here. Um, so we got the uh, what is this? The deflector is 26.2 in Starship Shield capacity, control and drain. Okay, so just normal def uh, deflector, I guess. Nothing really um, crazy about that. Weapon capacitor dampening control abilities reduces for outgoing damage. Okay. The impulse engines, uh, flight speed, turn rate and full impulse. Whole scrapping. What is what the hell is that? 251.8 kinetic damage with 100% shield penetration to enemy in hull. Within 0.6 kilometers scales up to 1259, up to 100% throttle. Affected foes immune to hull scraping for 10 seconds. So hull scraping, if memory serves me correctly, that is something that you do damage when you're really close to uh, uh, to your enemy, or at least a certain distance. So this is also going to do damage when you scrape paint off of the enemy's hull. Nice! Uh, ramming initiative, ramming speed will be activated at 90% hull. Wow. And full impulse is basically uh, all power to... Where is the warp core? Hey, we don't have a warp core. Is the warp core from the lockbox or something? Because it's not a mission reward. We only have the shields, we have the deflector and the impulse engines. But we don't have the warp core. Where is the warp core? That is my question. Anyway, guys, this 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 episode, this is one of the best episodes that they actually did in a long time. I definitely loved it. All pieces of it are really, really awesome. And uh, wow. Stay tuned, guys. I'm definitely going to cover the entire um, new lockbox that they put out, the Discovery. Uh, even though you guys, if you have seen the, the, the episode... The TV show uh, Discovery. You basically have seen all of the uh, all of the ships out there, but it's still nice to see them in the game, right? It's definitely cool to um, to see uh, what the Black Alert is all about in the game, <laughs> and because it's like in the TV show, they actually did that slow motion kind of type deal when gravity fails and stuff like that, and. Water drops, uh, we know, went uh, zero gravity up in the in in the air, but um, yeah, maybe they're gonna have that in the game as well. So who knows, right? Who knows? I haven't looked at like you know anything about the discovery. Haven't looked like any uh, any text that Cryptic has uh, put out on their website. So I'm really interested, and I'm really going to be uh, surprised by the you know by the items that we're going to get. But anyway. Hope to see you on the next one, guys. Take care and have a good one. Uh, later.